got our babies being fed by gators. You got us on auction blocks. Who did that? The white man, right? The so-called white man. Because the Bible calls him Esau. Right? What's your last name? Vargas. Vargas, what about you? Black? Lots? Okay. Now, remember, you identified as black American. This is what God calls you. Genesis chapter 32, verse 27. And when he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God. So the Bible says, look, you are a princess that has power with God. Your son, he is a prince that has power with God. But when you say your last name is Lot or Vargas, or you identify as a of a, as a, a black American, you really have no power with God. That's why this happened. That's how our names got changed to black American. That's how your last name got changed to Lot. That's how your last name got changed to Vargas. So how did how did God allow this to happen to His children? Why did God allow your son to what grow up in a gang filled neighborhood? To go to the prison to only get killed in prison. Why did God? Why would God allow something like that to happen? Now, when he, your son was younger, right? Just say if he was about to touch an uh, electrical outlet, did you allow him to do it? What did you do? You pulled him away. Well, what if he said, "No, mommy, I'm gonna do it anyways." He stuck his hand. You, huh? Did you smack his hand or something? So you kind of like corrected him, right? So what if your son disrespected you and called you out of your name? But you, 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 you're gonna, you're gonna discipline them, right? So you discipline your children for deviating from the things that you teach them. Same thing God does. If you deviate from what God teaches you, He's going to punish you. You understand that? So this is why this has happened. You losing your name, not knowing that you're an Israelite, calling yourself a Black America, that's a punishment. You having the last name Lot, which means the slave master's last name, that is a punishment. You having Vargas, that is a punishment. You understand that? You got to understand that in order for us to come off this punishment, we have to go back to our father. And we have to ask him for forgiveness. But first we have to understand why he did it. Read that. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that was a lot. This is Moses talking to the children of Israel. The children of Israel just came out of Egypt, right? God split the Red Sea, the children of Egypt walked through it, and what? Now they're in the wilderness. Now God is giving household rules to Moses to give to his children. So this is what Moses is pretty much saying, look, God says, do what I say or else, or I'm going to whoop your butt. These bad things is going to happen to you. So now let's go over some of these bad things. All right, give me verse 32. Deuteronomy 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Wasn't your son given to another people? Didn't he go into a prison house? He was taken and given to another people. So that's that's relevant for today. But it happened to us right here in slavery too. Our sons and our daughters was given unto another people. Why did that happen to us? Because we broke God's rules. That's right. That's right. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 16. Verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. You hear that? Because remember, we just showed you, 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 you from the tribe of Judah. Judah is one of the 12 tribes from the nation of Israel. Israel means what? It means a princess that has power with God. For your son, it is a prince that has power with God. So what's the, right. what does Israel mean? I want you to say, so you are not. 
a princess that has power with God. That's right. It's important for you to say it because the more you say it, the more you'll become it. That's right. Just like if you listen to Lil Dirt and keep repeating his lyrics, you're going to become it. That's because right. Because evil communication corrupts good manners. Right. Just like righteous communication keeps you going on the right path. That's right. So if you keep on saying, I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel, you're going to become that power that right. has with God. Right. You understand that? Now, you understand that, Ms. Vargas? Yeah, but I got a question. What's your question? I'm a mother, and I'm trying to direct my son to the right path, and now everything's coming at me because I'm following the Word of God. Now, I lost my son. I lost my brother. I got a son. There's a son, and it's shaped me into a whole different person. So why are we, are we moving so beyond the right track? I consider myself, even if I feel like this, I consider myself that when I walk, when I I can help my mother, I can speak what I've been through in life. And I don't know what's going on with my life, but I'm giving it my all, and I just lost a 24-year-old son. Right. All right, so listen to this, sis. So you try to get on the right path, right? Uh, you're, right? And we just showed you that the Word of God is to heal you, right? So you have to what? Now apply the Word of God in order for your life to start going the right. Right. Because if you don't, Things are going to continuously fall down and destruction around you. Right. Even yourself if you don't straighten up. So let me show you something that's going to assist you in your path to righteousness. Because you are, you just said that you're trying to get yourself right with God, right? Let me show you something you could do today to help God to show that, you know what? Now my princess is getting on the right path. Now, you know what? Let me shut off this demon from attacking her. Attacking her family. Read that real quick. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So remember, the word of God is what goes out and heals us, right? The word of God is what we just read. It just said the woman shall not wear that which pertains or belongs to a man. Now, do you go to public washrooms? I do, my brother. Yep. So if it didn't say woman's washroom or man's washroom, how would you know which one to go into? You would know because it have a symbol on it. A silhouette of a man and a silhouette of a woman. What would the silhouette of a woman have on? A what? A dress. So it's common knowledge to know that men wear dresses. I mean, women wear dresses and men wear pants, right? So read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the woman shouldn't be wearing pants. So that is a law or a word that heals us or a law of God that would keep us going in the right path. This is, this is that good communication that's going to keep you right. Because anything outside of that is evil communication and it's going to corrupt your good manners. Because if you're trying to get on the right path with God, Shonda, if you're trying to get on the right path with God, you got to do what he says, right? Right? So the, the Bible just said for women not to wear pants, right? He's going to show you why you shouldn't. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So your son shouldn't be wearing dresses. Read. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So all that do these things, like when women wear pants, it's an abomination. When men wear dresses, it's an abomination. That's right. An abomination means God detests that thing. He hates it. Right. That's why a lot of things go wrong in your life. Because when you don't do what he says, he puts you on punishment. That's right. You understand that? This was a punishment. You have a turmoil in your life as a punishment. Shonda, in order for you to continue to raise your son and your daughter righteously, you have to adhere to what this Bible is saying. Used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.